So a lot of veterans wonder, is it possible to get a free letter from a doctor that's going to help me win my VA disability claim? Well, stand by, because in this video, we're going to talk about instances and stories where that has been the case. My name is Mark. You probably don't know me yet. I'm a disabled Army veteran that has all the benefits I believe I deserve, but it took me seven years and I lost over $100,000 in unrealized benefits, and I made a lot of mistakes, learned a lot of lessons. But since then, I've helped over 600 veterans win their benefits, move on with their lives, and it's my hope that I can help you today. So let's talk about this. Is such a thing possible? Can you get a free letter from a doctor? Like in the last video, we talked about Nexus letters, IMOs, DBQs. Is it possible to score one of those for free? The answer is yes, but it's pretty rare. Anything is possible, but is it probable? I'm going to share stories today that are the exceptions and maybe they'll apply to you because the worst that can happen is someone says no to you. The VA has just been saying no to me this whole time. What's one more no? So let me share this with you now and hopefully it helps. Hopefully you can score your own free Nexus letter, IMO, DBQ, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing that you might want to try to do, because I've heard this story many times, is just ask your VA doctor. Look, in a lot of my other videos, you're going to hear me say that these docs don't want to help you with disability. That's 95% of the time that's true. But if you have a doctor that is a veteran, that's supportive of vets, and is particularly close to retirement age, I found that a lot of these stories, the commonality there is those three things align. And so if you have a good relationship with your VA doctor and they meet those criteria, all you have to do is ask them if they're willing to write you something that's going to help you with your VA disability claim. The most they can say is no, that's the worst that can happen. And they'll probably say, oh, we don't do that. It's a conflict of interest. They won't say the conflict of interest part, but that's just something that I made up. I think that's true. But if they do opt to write you a letter, just know that anything that's free, it's very rare for something to be free and be of high quality. Because a lot of times, what I've also heard is a VA doctor might write them a letter just to get the veteran off their back, but the letter itself is not actually that helpful. So you have to make sure that it has all the things that are helpful, which I discussed in the previous video. You know, did the doctor review the records from your active duty service if it's that type of claim? How bad is it today and what their opinion is? Those three things should be present in there. If they're not, well, they might be just writing you something to get them, get you off their backs. So that's one thing that you got to realize. Sometimes a DAV, a VFW, or what's the other one? American Legion, they'll have a roving doctor. Sometimes it just shows up and mass produces Nexus letters. I've seen this. These are also very low quality. They're like mass produced. It's just like a template. I was kind of blown away when I saw it because that just seemed weird, but it also was ineffective. So that's something to take, take into account. If it's free, the quality is going to be questionable most times. And the theme you're going to see across all three of these stories I'm going to share with you is that a relationship with the doctor is present. The better relationship you have with the doctor, the better quality free letter you're going to get from them. So keep that in mind. So the VA doctor, if you have a good relationship, you could ask them and it will be a yes or no. That's what's the worst that can happen. You don't want to ask them for something that first visit. You, you want to get to know them a little bit. You want to get them to want to help you. And you do that just by developing that relationship. Are you a person they want to help or are you a dick to the doctor? So the second place where you can find a free Nexus letter DBQ IMO is the pay per visit type of medical professional. And most commonly, this is a chiropractor or a therapist. This is actually how I got a free Nexus letter. It was from a chiropractor and, and I developed a relationship with them. And this is how I would approach the situation across all these stories if I was trying to score a free letter. I would show up and just talk to the doctor and receive treatment a couple times. Now keep in mind, this is not totally free because you're paying the doctor, but at least you're not paying an extra thousand dollars for the letter. But I would develop a relationship with the doctor and I'll get to know them. They get the history of the condition, which more than likely is because of your service. And I would start gauging the temperature of that doctor towards my situation. Are they 
sympathetic. Do they say, oh man, you really got messed up in service. Wow, that's a horrible story, etc. If they're saying that, I would escalate a little bit more and just start talking about how I've been having trouble at the VA. I keep getting denied on my benefits. And in my story, I was having trouble seeking treatment because I couldn't pay out of pocket indefinitely. And so that really got them on my side. Now he's even more sympathetic to what, what I need. And if the response to sharing that with the doctor about my troubles with VA disability and denials and benefits, etc., is positive, then one day I'm just going to ask, hey, can you help me? <laughs> I'm just going to shut up and let them answer. And if they say yes, what I'm going to do is make it as easy as possible for that doctor to write my nexus letter. I'm going to educate them. I'm going to share just the stuff that that doctor needs to see to say that, hey, I reviewed Mark's records. Then I'm going to tell them, hey, these are the most helpful things in a nexus letter. Can you write those in? And it's an independent doctor. You can't manipulate them. They're going to make an opinion. But that's how I was able to score a free nexus letter for my back through a chiropractor. Now, that was the first time. The second time I asked him again for my knees, my ankles, etc. And he was like, hell no, it's $1,000. And I paid him because it was worth it. Because I had the evidence. I just needed a doctor to make an opinion. And I did win those claims. So I'm happy about it. Finally, the third situation I see and hear about most commonly is a friend or a family member that is a medical professional. Now, that's a no-brainer. You have a relationship with them by default. Now, whether or not they're willing to write you a disability letter is a totally different topic. Here's what I will say. If you're going to go this route, it better not be your only medical evidence. If, if your only piece of medical evidence is like your dad, brother, or sister that has the same last name as you, is that, if that's your only medical evidence you submit with your claim, that, that seems a little sketchy, right? Just think about <laughs> being a raider and seeing that. If it were me and I had a family member that could write me something, I would at least have other medical evidence that would confirm what that doctor's saying this way when the claim is submitted and the raider is looking at my stuff. It's not just Dr. Del Rosario saying that five conditions are service-connected. At least there's a doctor or two doctors other than my family member or friend that is saying, hey, look, we think he has this, this, and this, and it lines up with what my close relation here is saying about me. So that way you stay above board. The, the VA raider doesn't think you're trying to commit fraud or whatever. So if you're trying to score a Nexus letter for free from a doctor, I hope what you heard from this video is one, you need to develop a relationship with that person before you ask them for stuff. Three, if they say yes, make it easy for them. And then four, if you have a good relationship with that doctor and you notice the quality of the Nexus letter, DBQ, IMO is off, well, maybe you can ask them to adjust it. But that's just a big ask because, you know, they're doing something for you for free, which they can charge a lot of money for. Don't burn all your goodwill. Beggars sometimes can't be choosers in this case. And, you know, if you win a claim, you can just pay them later for more conditions that you need to win. So that's a video for another time. But if you found this helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And with that, this is Mark signing off and wishing you good fortune in the claims to come.